The vaccine is certainly on the top of many people's minds as the school year begins, but so will the mental health impact of the pandemic. Now I touched on seven tips to help your students mental health yesterday, but today I'm talking directly to you parents. Here's seven tips for you to help your mental health. The first day of school has anxiety just because it's the first day of school, but now you've added in that extra component that kids have been away from their routine uh, for a full year. We're just days away from the start of a new school year, which can bring back old feelings of stress and anxiety for parents as they try to get everything ready for their students. You know, when you feel like you're all alone navigating this, it's scary. So here are seven things to keep in mind over the next few weeks to help you out. Number one, keep positive thoughts even when things get stressful. Number two, prepare yourself by going to orientations or reading school materials. Tiffany Terrence says orientation helped ease her and her son's nerves before he heads to Clarence Middle School. I am preparing all I can because it is middle school. Number three, find a coping mechanism. Find whatever makes you feel better. Listening to music, taking a walk, watching TV. And number four, make sure you take a pause from time to time. I just have to take a breath, take it in understand where he's coming from. Uh, I have a lot of help. I reached out to people for help on handle the situation. Which brings us to number five. There are plenty of resources out there. Sherry Alvarez, COO at Compere Buffalo says they can help point you in the right direction for free. Sometimes we lead them to their primary doctor as well as the many nonprofits in our community and mental health services in our community. Buffalo is rich in resources. It's just being aware of them and knowing how to navigate them. And number six. It's just that people are not alone. For other parents, you know, they go through the same thing. If you're struggling and you're having a hard time, don't be embarrassed about that. There are so many people who are willing to be there to support you and get through. And often you'll be surprised to hear the struggles that other people have had. And lastly, number seven, your experiences can help others. If you recognize there's a change behavior in someone else, reaching out to support them, taking it one step at a time. And you can find those resources right now on our website. I put the links to the free help at Compere Buffalo, all in this story for you under the back to school section of WKBW.com. Now there are plenty of options for you and plenty of time to reach out. And coming up tomorrow morning, I'm going to dive into how teachers can cope with back to school anxiety. It's so funny, we all have these different anxieties yeah. when it comes to these transitions in our life. Back to school, a big one for so many families. Change is hard, especially with all that we're going through. So plenty oh, really? of tips for you.